So this week's topic of Amuna Mondays was obtaining open-mindedness. And before I begin, the class was dedicated to a couple names. I will say them now, and I'll repeat them at the end as well. So it's for Rafua Shalema for Rav Daniel Ben Sarah, as well as Leah Lilach Bat Sarah Chana. May both of them have a speedy, speedy, immediate recovery. As well as Lule Nishmat for Yaakov Tzvi Ben Moshe Avram, Gabriel Masauda Bat Sarah, and Roger Asher Ben Marcel. May all their neshamas have the ultimate ultimate aliyah. So the topic of obtaining open-mindedness, the reason I chose this topic was because of the fact that I noticed repeatedly, especially last week, of people mentioning that, you know, like they, they were being told to do one thing by either a mentor, a rabbi, or somebody that they trusted, and they agreed with that person, but then they found themselves in a position that was constantly, like, challenging that side and one of them actually decided to go ahead and and just entertain the idea of having that open-mindedness you know like yes i have my reasons to say no but you know why not just say yes and see where it goes and it was going extremely well and unfortunately the person not well really unfortunately the person eventually noticed um the further it got that there was like a lack of something there and then from there, just decided, you know, like there's not really much um, that that can be done if the person isn't working on themselves actively and um, healing from whatever it is that they've been through. And because of that, there was like a wall that was being put up, which was something that we've mentioned in a couple of weeks before about uh, vulnerability. And unfortunately, this person was unable to be vulnerable. And because of that, they had to like the person realized that they just can't do it but they're sitting there and it's 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 a very tough thing to comprehend and to cope with because they you can constantly say i knew better like why did i put myself in that scenario why did i do that i should have just listened to myself but it's not really true that's not true at all because of the fact it's better that they that the person had the open-mindedness because there's a lot to gain there's a lot that the person gained in in it yeah it didn't actually work out in the end the way that they had hoped but every single person comes into your life for a reason every single person leaves for a reason every single person anything that you hear listen you you hear you say you're around you experience you witness there's a reason for it yeah you only want to obviously we'd want to only um bring in and and have around us positivity and stuff like that but if there's something negative quote-unquote negative around you there's a reason for it. It's getting your mind thinking. It's getting your, you're seeing something in a certain way. And there's a lot to gain. And I don't look at anything as something negative, especially if you've learned from some, from it. You know, it's the small cost, the small cost of, of learning. You know, you go to school and you pay tuition and to learn when life will teach you a lot of things as well. Maybe a, a, a past relationship, maybe an experience, maybe you witness something. You're, at the end of the day, it's how you comprehend it and how you take it. The problem is, the problem uh, really occurs when, when a person doesn't have that open-mindedness. It's whatever they comprehend and that's it. If I don't understand it, I don't do it. If I don't understand it, it's not this, it's not that. But the truth is, if somebody was to come over here and, and tell me some crazy mathematic formula and, and I don't know it, I'm just going to accuse them of it. Nope, that's not true. Just because of the lack of me knowing it doesn't make sense. It's like, no, it's a, can you maintain that open mind. Even though I don't know, that is a possibility. It could be right. I don't know. I don't know if it's right or wrong. But it's understanding that open mind. It could be right just as much as it could be wrong. You know, but by default, again, we mentioned it um, every almost every single week. The negativity aspect is so much easier to grasp on. So it's so much easier to say you're wrong when you don't know. Than to actually believe the person and think, you know what, okay, maybe maybe it's right. Maybe it is a possibility that it is. And whatever that we're sitting here thinking about on a on a massive scale, on like an overall level, it can be so much better. It can really end up better if we just maintain that open-mindedness. Whatever we think is best case scenario, it could be better. Why? Because Hashem has no limit. Our concept of understanding it is already limiting God. So it's that maintain that open-mindedness where there are no barriers. There's no limit. There's no limit down and there's no limit up. It's a scary thought because, again, your mind is by default thinking there's no limit down because of the negative route. But that's not the, the case. There's also no limit up. 
Anything can happen, you know? And it's, it's, it's just, you have to have that open-mindedness and understand that it's your job to just do your part. It's not your job to force somebody to do their part as well. And this is in regards to relationships, you know? Do your part. Meet the person halfway. Everybody always looks for, everybody says, oh, I'm looking for my other half, my other half. Your other half means that you're missing something. Well, the truth is you're not. You're going to be complete to the best of your capabilities right now, as well as the other person's going to be the best of their capabilities right now, complete. And then, boom, you'll take it the next step when you meet that one. It's not, oh, yeah, I'm missing something. Oh, oh, you have what I'm missing. Because if you think about that, who wants something that, they, that, that you... The average person wants what they have or more. Nobody wants less. So if you're missing something... It's going to be like, okay, I have, let's say, clarity and this and that. I'm not going to look for somebody that doesn't have clarity because I have those things. I want something, I want somebody with more. You know, they might have more than clarity, more than this, more than that. That's something I would be attracted to because now it's like, okay, but I don't want, like, the average person is not going to take somebody that's less than them. How does that make sense? So it's like the other half mentality. You're not bound to find your other half if you're searching for what you're missing. It's more of like, embrace what you have. I have this. You know, and this could amplify me. This is what I'm looking for to amplify me. Not, oh, this is what I'm missing, and I'm not going to work on this, but I'm just going to find somebody with the other half of it. That doesn't work, you know? If somebody's really, really, really serious about you, they're going to meet you halfway. You meet, you show up, they'll show up, you go from there. You know, if somebody's not willing to meet you halfway, why are you willing to even walk the journey with them? It doesn't even make sense. And then, and then it's gonna. Then you're gonna be sitting there when it doesn't work out, like realizing, wow, I did everything. I was texting the person. I was making the plans. I was the one going on the date, setting everything up. This, that. All the person had to say was yes. And the average person can easily say, sure, sure, sure. Especially if you're texting them, you're the one picking them up. All these regards. It's maintain that open mindedness of, you know what? Anything can happen. I'm just gonna do my part, and it's not my job. To take on everybody else's problems, to force it down people's throat, to overextend. No, I'm just going to show up, do my part, and understand, even though I'm not doing all these other various steps, they're not needed. Why can I say that? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's the fact that I believe that. I have that open mind that anything is possible. Why? Because God's in play. The minute Hashem is in play, anything is possible. You know? So, that, that was kind of like well, like like that was majority of the idea of was the constant aspect of understanding the fact that God is in play and when God's in play there is that open mindedness there is no limit to God and the only way we can comprehend that is maintaining that open mindedness understand that God is above us just because I don't know does not mean it's not capable it's not a possibility or I'm not capable of it and that's normally how people operate is their past experiences. But just because it happened to you once the same exact way does not mean the next person's coming in, even if they're showing all the same signs. Why? Because every person is different. And the number one thing to ask is why. When you understand the reason behind why somebody does something, that's a game changer. It doesn't matter if both of them smoke. Why is this person smoking? Why is that person smoking? Why are you clubbing? Why are you clubbing? Why are you talking the way you talk? Why are you talking the way you talk? Once you have the understanding and the reason behind it, it changes a lot of things. So that was pretty much what the topic was this past week. So again, I'm going to repeat the names now. It's Rafua Shalema for Rav Daniel Ben Sara and Leah Lilach Bat Khana. May they have a speedy, speedy, immediate recovery. As well as Lule Nishma for Yaakov Tzvi Ben Moshe Avram, Gabriel Maseo de Bat Sara, and Roger Asher Ben Marcel. May both their neshamas and all their neshamas have the ultimate, ultimate aliyah. Thank you.